Hello, I'm Kainte on the Genius, and this lesson will be getting started with TensorFlow. I'll try to make it as easy as possible so that if you just have a basic knowledge of machine learning, then you'll be able to follow along in this lesson or in this very easy tutorial. I'd like to remind you to subscribe or click on the subscribe button below so that you get notified when I make new lessons. All right, so what are we going to learn? We are going to first discuss what is TensorFlow, then we discuss using Jupyter Notebook in Python, and then import TensorFlow with Keras, what is Keras, NumPy, and Matplotlib for plotting, and then we continue on and on. So we actually will make it on uh, divisions of 10 minutes for each lesson, so that it becomes a little easy for you uh, to follow. So uh, let me put away this presentation so that we actually go and open no uh, Jupyter Notebook and actually start demonstrating what we are doing. But before we open Jupyter Notebook, uh, let's answer this question, what is TensorFlow? Uh, TensorFlow is an open source machine learning library used for research, especially in machine learning. So you have uh, Python, then you have libraries that are written in, uh, in Python language that can actually be run in Python and used to create machine learning models. So TensorFlow, TensorFlow is simply created to help you avoid having to write very complex uh, codes for creating machine learning model. All right, so let's uh, we'll discuss this along the line. When we uh, move along, we'll, we'll discuss more of this. So let's put away this presentation and open Jupyter Notebook. So if you have Jupyter Notebook installed, so open it from Anaconda, click on Jupyter Notebook. From Anaconda, click on Jupyter Notebook. If you have not set up Jupyter Notebook in your system, look at the uh, previous presentation. The first lesson in this series actually explains how to install Anaconda and set up Jupyter Notebook in your system. So if you have not done that, then click on the link below to watch that video and see how you can do it before you continue with this one. All right. So what we want to do is to actually create a machine learning model that can examine images and be able to predict what these images are. It's going to take some time, but will take it 10 minutes at a time. So step one, let's open Jupyter Notebook and get around in Jupyter Notebook and understand uh, we are able to use Jupyter Notebook uh, easily. <coughs> All right, so this is Jupyter Notebook. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it Lesson 2. So click on File and click on Rename. Click on File, click on Rename, and just I'm going to call it Lesson 2 because this is Lesson 2 in the series of tutorial. So now you can see the name is shown here as Lesson 2. All right, so the first thing we want to do is to import TensorFlow. Uh, before you start using TensorFlow, you must import TensorFlow into your workspace. So to do that, you simply say import TensorFlow as TF. So this, at this point, this line, if you run it, is going to import TensorFlow. But one thing about uh, the Jupyter Notebook is it, it doesn't run programs uh, like the normal way we run programs in, in C++ or C Sharp or Visual Basic. Programs in Jupyter Notebook are written inside the cells. So now this is uh, as it is now. This is one cell. I can actually write in more things inside this cell. I can also insert a cell. So insert cell below, and I continue writing programs. The way it is is that you can run the cells separately. So if I actually want to execute this line, I simply click on run. So at this point, line one has been executed. So this is a warning, uh, not very important. We could actually ignore this warning. So step two, we want to import uh, Keras. We want to import Keras. Um, so the question now is what actually is Keras? That I'm going to explain in this presentation. So as I wrote down what is Keras. Yeah. 
Keras is an API for building and training deep learning models. Keras is implemented by TensorFlow, and so you need to import Keras as part of TensorFlow. So basically, you actually uh, uh, have a chunk of library for uh, creating deep learning models that is separate from TensorFlow. I don't really know why everything is separated. You have to import them into your workspace, but just know that Keras is more is another API collection of codes that you can use to create deep learning models. All right, so let's go and import Keras here. So to do that, you also use uh, the you use the you use it. Um, let me see. I, I, I'm okay. So. Remember I mentioned that Keras is part of TensorFlow. So what you do is you say from TensorFlow imports Keras. So at this point, Keras is going to help us uh, manage our data set and you see how it works in a few minutes. So what I'm going to do now is to run this line of code. So I could run it and it runs and then what here means these two lines are already being executed and I could continue writing. All right, so let's see. The next thing we are going to do, we've actually talked about what is TensorFlow using Jupyter Notebook in Python, import TensorFlow and Keras, we've done this. The next thing we want to do is to import NumPy and matplotlab, matplotlight.pyplot. So what is NumPy and matplotlab.pyplot? Uh, NumPy is also a library. As I mentioned, things are in libraries you need to import. The NumPy library helps you to carry out arithmetic uh, uh, expressions, to carry out arithmetic operations or mathematical operations. So that is why you need NumPy. Anytime you are going to solve some maths, you need NumPy. What of matplotlib.pyplot? This is another library that helps you plot graphs to the output. So if you want to display a graph, be it a histogram, be it a line plot, be it any kind of graph, you need to import matplotlib.pyplot. So let's go ahead to import, uh, to import these two items into our workspace. This black screen always, you, if you close it, then most likely you, your, your notebook will not work. So what you say is, you say imports numpy as np. Now we normally use alias, uh, alias, right? So it makes it that the names is shorter when you want to use it. So instead of saying numpy dot, you say mp dot, it makes it a little shorter. In this, in this case, I'm going to write two lines of code in the same cell. So I'm going to say import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So instead of using all of this, I'll be using plt. Make sure you type the names correctly. So I'm going to run this line. And it executes correctly all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to now import a data set and normally machine learning data sets are very large data sets most of them sometimes have images uh, that is stored as uh, pixels so it's not like it's not like a data set of creating an excel sheet and then start using it to do machine learning uh, that is not uh, the right way so we are going to use a data set called version M N I S T. So let me write it out for you. So a data set called, let me see if I can get, uh, okay, let me just write. We are going to use a data set. Okay, yeah, I already write it out here. A data set called version M N I S T. So that is what we are going to use, is a set of images and labels, all right? 
so we are going to import it into our workspace and of course we will be able to use it so i'm going to write the line of code to import this data set remember keras is what you use to manage importing data sets into your workspace the first thing we want to do is to uh, create a variable that we want to use to store this data set so m and ist that's the name of the variable and is actually an array so it's going to import the data set keras uh, keras dot data sets dot m in ist so what is happening here is that we actually uh, have this data set in in the in the repository online in this place so we are importing it into our program into this variable all right so i'm going to execute this line and it executes correctly now i want to tell you a little more before we continue when you are building a machine learning model there are two kinds of data you need to work with uh let me write on the screen so it becomes a little clearer so let me create a whiteboard so that i could write right so when you are working with the machine learning model you have two things and one of them is the the training set the training data set okay I, I don't think i can write fast the training data set and the test data set so you need the training data set and the test data set so these are the two data sets that has to be imported anytime you are building machine learning 